and this is Angela Bradley. Angela is the Director of Public Relations and Fundraising at Community Living Toronto. And she has been involved with the not-for-profit sector personally and professionally, probably not quite as many decades as I have, but for a long time. She's got an honors degree in psychology from Queen's University and is in, you're in student mode, eh? You're an MBA student, good for you. So continuing to learn, she's passionate about choice and opportunities for people with disabilities, which is evident in her um, dedication to new and innovative projects, such as Connectability, out there with Dawn at the Balloons, Spinclusion, fascinating name, Lights, and now My Community Hub. And that's, in fact, what we're gonna hear about from Angela, something that's not even quite hatched yet, but on the cusp of something very exciting. <laughs> well, Ray wasn't kidding when she said that uh, um, my community hub is really uh, just a, just an egg, and I don't even know if it's hatched yet. Um, we we actually named it, and the logo is about two weeks old. So it's really, really, really in its infancy. Um, it, it's a really exciting project for the seven agencies that have come together in the initial pilot. Uh, phase for my community hub and what it is in a nutshell is really a place where all of the things that you would need to know about registering finding registering uh, and actually starting on your journey for fee-for-service options um, it, it the seven agencies that have come together initially are RENA, Carrie's Place Toronto, Christian Horizons, Meta Center, Vita Mensana, Corbrook and Community Living Toronto. And when we came together, um, we were all either offering fee-for-service options or we were starting to go down that path. And we were all starting to look at how could we communicate with families, how could families find us, and how could families actually register for these options. And uh, so it seemed like there was, there was really an impetus to start down this path. So we did write a proposal to the Employment and Modernization Fund and did receive funding for a two-year project uh, to get everything onto initially connectability.ca. Uh, we did do a lot of research with families and try to find out where is the best place for families to go and look to find information and connectability.ca we've already invested, a lot of agencies have invested a lot of time and money into the site. So it will live on connectability.ca. You'll be able to find it under fee-for-service options there. And we are actually going live in February. Uh, February 2nd is supposed to be go live date with the seven agencies initially. In year two, 13 more agencies within Toronto will be online with whatever fee-for-service options or registration options that they want to put in the site. And then in year three, the remaining uh, agencies in Toronto will all be invited to be part of my community hub. And then hopefully, uh, my dream is that it will go across the entire province. Um, again, it'll be an opportunity for families to go to connectability.ca and agencies, not just families, to go to connectability.ca, understand what is fee-for-service, how do you even start that journey, what am I looking for? What does fee-for-service even mean? Where does the money come from? And there will be lots of great opportunities to collaborate with other family members, with other agencies, uh, watch some little videos about what is happening in different agencies. And then once you're ready to actually go through the door um, into my community hub, it'll be there ready, with lots of support for you to start that journey. Once you go in, you'll have the opportunity to build a profile, and you'll only have to build the profile once. I know that's a big deal for families. You really will only have to build that profile once. So you'll go in, I, I jokingly call it the Amazon of developmental services. So you'll be able to go in and you'll be like, okay, I'm ready to buy something. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna build my profile, I'm gonna share as much information about myself as I want to, and then I'm gonna search for something. So for example, it might be drama camp. So I search for drama and all the drama options for the agencies that are in my community hub will come up with information about the agency, the pricing structure, the times available, the locations it's available at, and then you can explore further. And at no point will an agency know anything about you 
until you do a transaction. So you can go in there initially and see seven agencies, the seven I've mentioned, and you might see that all seven agencies are offering a drama program, but until you actually engage with that agency, they won't know anything about you. And then you'll be able to do your transactions online, whether it is uh, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, uh, right from your bank account, or you may have gotten a grant from some organization that you've decided to deposit into your account so you're actually drawing on a balance. There'll also be some free options. Some organizations will be putting in dances and bingo nights and things like that that you might want to register for. And um, there's no charge to you to use the site. And um, you register, you'll get a confirmation back immediately. If there's any additional communication that needs to happen between you and the agency in terms of uh, staffing levels to approve your registration or doing medical files or waivers or anything like that, an agency will reach back to you, but you will have a receipt immediately uh, in your email that you'll be able to then use to file uh, whether you have to do for your passport options or just for your own uh, income tax or something like that. Uh, and then you can actually go in and start attending whatever program you've signed up for. And I think that that's just about it in a nutshell. So let me just uh, have you restate a couple of critical things. Sure. It goes live February 2016. February 2nd, 2016 is our slated go live date. It will be a very uh, skeleton type site at that point. It is only seven agencies, and seven agencies will be initiating uh, a, a number of fee-for-service options at that point. Limited options, because we only want to do this once, and we want to do it right. And the additional agencies will join in when? Uh, we will start working with the additional agencies in 2016 in order to look at a go-live date for them, probably late 2016 or early 2017. And then in 2017, it will be opened up to the remaining agencies in Toronto, and it will be up to them whether or not they choose to sign up with my community. Okay, and the remaining agencies are the 37? Yes, 37. Agencies that are funded by the Ministry of Community and Social Services. 